We've got a bit of oil smoke coming out there. Welcome back to Little Mythic Classic. It's a beautiful day here, quite warm though. And it's time for an update on the Daimler Coupe, which is very close to being done. And I'm about to take it to the alignment shop. If you remember when my friend drove it to the summer meet, uh, it was tow out, I believe, tow out really badly. And what I've done now is just, I've just cranked it in by eye, so it's, it feels a lot better to drive now. And then we're going for an alignment shop to align everything perfectly. Other than that, you know, we've tightened up the timing chain. I have checked the valve clearances there were good. I've installed a stake down kit and I've painted and polished the cam covers. Let me show you guys that in a second. Otherwise, it's been a lot of small little things. Uh, interior is still not completely in there just because we have a couple small electrical things left to do. I think it's just actually the horn left to do and an interior light. But otherwise, I've gotten everything working and uh, I've taken just some brief small test drives. Where we're going today is about 16 kilometers there, so it's a ma 10 miles uh, there. And it's all small roads, we're gonna go pretty slowly. Uh, my time is in about 45 minutes or so, uh, and it's only a 20 minute drive, so we got plenty of time. We do have a little bit of smoke that comes off uh, the manifolds because it was oil, the old uh, chem cover gases were leaking, and I spilled a bit also when I took them off. I've been smoking a bit, so that's also why I wanna leave extra early so I can stop a little bit before his shop, let that smoke clear, so he doesn't get it in the alignment shop. But let me just walk around the car real briefly and then we'll head up to the alignment shop. I have the hubcaps off it because he needs that when he puts those laser things on. Also, the owner has a set of nice Kent wheels which are going on it when we're done with this. Here you can see the cam covers. The owner has new stickers for it at home, so they will be put on there and that should look really nice and lovely. Uh, other than that, it's all back together under here. Still need to fully set up the carbs, but I uh, should drive there. I have, of course, the fire extinguisher with me. I have the manual in case something is wrong with this computer system. We can look up what all the angles are supposed to be. This red thermometer and just a couple small tools, set carbs and disconnect the battery. So what's left to do is the panels underneath here, um, the plastic around the steering column because I've fixed the indicators they work now. Uh, I've glued that all so that's drying up in epoxy and that should ready to go back on. Such a console lid is actually ready to go back on and that's pretty much it in here. But I'm going to drive there and update you guys uh, when we're pretty close to the line of shop. We've got a bit of oil smoke coming up there. We're pretty much just five minutes away. I am going to wait here in the shade and let this uh, dissipate and then we'll go there. Actually, I sort of changed my mind. Um, I don't, I'm in a parking lot of a grocery store. I don't want people looking. I mean, it's not smoking that much anymore, but it smells a bit. So uh, I'm gonna go to the industrial area where the where the uh, alignment shop is and wait there instead. Uh, other than that, it's been uh, it's been driving all right. Gearbox shifts nice, brakes feel really good. Uh, alignment is a lot better, even though, I mean, I did it just by sort of feel right now, but it's a lot, lot better than before. Um, before when you hit a bump, it would, uh, yeah, it would like throw you off the road basically. So a lot better, but we are less than a mile away from there, just three minutes. So um, it's gonna be interesting to see uh, how the car feels afterwards because I've, I've never driven this one where it actually sort of feels good on the road um, but yeah best way to drive coupes in my opinion is both windows down uh, coupes even with the windows up and good window seals they always whistle in my opinion I don't know it's just something that they do but this is the best way to drive them all the windows down or I mean I don't have the rears down but I might put those down later but just you know enjoying it like this but otherwise it is uh pretty much keeping temperature it is uh, charging oil pressure has done pretty well uh, the whole time but, but it still has has a little bit of thinner oil in it just sort of flush it through that the owner put in so as soon as he picks it up he's gonna put 20 i think it has like uh 1040 in it or something and it's gonna have 20 50 later but uh, it still has you know we're driving right now 1200 rpms here still has like 
35 pounds of oil pressure. So according to the gauge, it's not really bad at all. All right, I can see the uh, industrial thing up here. One minute left to go, 500 meters. Uh, this is actually the longest drive this thing has been on since being put back on the road. And before that, it was off the road for like 12 years. So quite a while. And uh, it's the longest drive this car has ever done being left-hand drive. Uh, let's see, we have, it's Friday afternoon here. So we do have some traffic. Could you guys move along, please? There we go. So almost ready to go there. We'll see, it could also be good that I am a little bit early because maybe uh, maybe he's done a little bit early and uh, that will let him go home earlier on a Friday, which I think is nice for him. Also nice for me, I want to go home. Enjoy this nice weather but, uh, and upload this video to you guys so you have something to watch tonight. All right, pulling into the place here. Not sure if I can film there or not. Uh, I don't think so. Um, but uh, I'll take some pictures and really it's just putting it on the laser machine and aligning it. And we have the results here. Uh, like the toe was terrible. Um, but I mean, it was actually within the margins of actually being on. So for just setting it up really quickly, that was good. Uh, the only thing left was the caster. And so he, he could see, uh, do some math, and we'll figure out which shims I need to change. So uh, either I'm gonna do that or the owner's gonna do that with the little shims up there. Um, and once that's done, it is perfect, but it is it's within margins right now, but we printed that out in, in case we wanna get it perfect. So right afternoon, I'm trying to drive home. Hopefully we don't have any traffic. And uh, let's see how this goes. And that went uh, pretty quickly. I was there a little bit early and I could get in there early. So uh, that was really good. Uh, but uh, yeah, this project is starting to, uh, look at that steering wheel straight. This project is starting to near its end. But you may see this car on the channel in the future. The owner has purchased an original four speed with overdrive uh, transmission for it and pedal assembly and everything so it's going to get manually converted at some point and there's a big chance that i might help out with that so if that happens you will see videos on that and that will make this thing really really cool left hand drive daimler coupe with a manual i mean that's going to be that's going to be great but at the moment transmission in it is actually shifting really well good we have about a quarter tank of fuel so we're gonna make it back. But I need to go to the gas station. I put some jerry cans in the back because I do have some other cars uh, at home, a customer car where I fix a leak in the fuel system so the fuel tank was drained. So I need to uh, go and pick up some fuel for them. Then I'm gonna head back home and we can just have uh, a brief look at some other things going on in the workshop. And then I'm gonna go, go in, edit this video and you guys will get something to watch. The wind just picked up a bit. Hopefully that's not disturbing the sound too much but we made it back here drove well the only thing that happened was there was a weird sound behind the dash and then the speedo stopped working uh speedo cable and everything's new so i'm hopefully just jumped out or something so we'll see what happened there but kept good temperature good oil pressure and uh, it drove all the way here so that's really good I'm gonna go in the workshop now with it and um, just the last things to finish up we have the horn to fix set the height of the headlights um adjust the bonnet releases a little bit and put the last interior in. But let me show you what else is in the workshop and I'm gonna start working on uh, probably later tonight. The little Morris is in here. Um, not much left to do on it. Engine mounts are good. I drove around yesterday and it drove really nicely. It needs the um, fuel pump in the back rebuilt. So I'm gonna rebuild that. There'll be a video on that. Replace some fuel lines and then uh, I forgot about this. I saw that the, the coolant lines are not the greatest. It's starting to crack here. So I'm gonna get a set of those on there. And after that, I think it's just having a quick look at the brakes. They all seem to work, but just have a look at them. 
fix a couple lights and this thing should be ready to inspect. So maybe in a week or two, this thing could be back on the road again. Anyways, that's it for this episode. Hope you guys enjoyed coming along with the Daimler. I'm going to pull it into the workshop here so I can finish some of the last things. There's still plenty of room around it, even with the Morris in here. And uh, I'm going to go inside and put this up for you guys. So hopefully everyone's having a nice Friday. Sun is beautiful here. It's supposed to be really good weather this weekend. So uh, might not be that much car tinkering going on. So just in the evenings. But during the day, I think we're going to do things outside with the family. Anyways, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and share it with friends. If you're not already subscribed to the channel, please do subscribe to the channel. It really does help out a lot. Till next time, I'm Adam. This was Living with a Classic. I'll see you soon.